But we can't, because they got some lady with them, and she's screaming for help, huh? We still leave. I don't. I don't want to kick tails. Yeah, you do. Because with that baby face you got, everybody's been kicking yours since the seventh grade. Wait, 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 the train! I got the train! <laughs> Thank you! Because unless I get something to go on, it's going to be Prime Gray and Soldom. Hey, are you old enough to be a cop? You look just like that kid in Pretty in Pink. Maybe your old lady should have you put to sleep. My old lady does put me to sleep, kiddo. That's what makes the marriage work. What are you nuts? You said we're pursuing. I'm pursuing. Head up this one-way street, you idiot, before you kill somebody. <laughs> Don't even blink. Hanson, take out your gun. All right, fellas, come on out now. I'm gonna find a payphone and call in for a backup. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah. Why don't you see the radio? Because I pulled it out trying to find something to hang on to. That's all the idea I need. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got one like that for being the best playground out of this school AT. Hey, don't move, football! <laughs> Nice work, kid. You're three for three. You got a turbocharged of hair or something, Hanson. You look like Richie Cunningham. <laughs> you like that sound? Not really. Me neither. Praise God, hallelujah, maybe I'm saved. Been a deadhead since Woodstock. See, generation sport. Look, Hanson. And while you were out in the field, getting your butt kicked. Huh? Hanson. Hanson. Hobbs. Hi. Chip. take him in right now. I'm gonna make a buy, no big deal. This isn't my first assignment, you know. I was on patrol. I think it'd be hard for you to buy a case of beer, man. <laughs> for a hundred bucks. Okay. What's your problem? I think you're a cop. Then pull the trigger. Cops have to be old enough to drive after dark. Save it, man. What the hell are you gonna charge him with? But you can't park there. Oh, yeah? I knew. I didn't know. Well, oh, thanks, man. I'm trying to quit. What the <laughs> All right, who started it? Started what? The guy's a friend. Uh, park it right. Seems like at Wilcox High, you threw a lot of interceptions. I don't, uh, play a lot of sports. Well, thank you, sir. I, uh, but my father works nights and, uh, can't make it. Come on, Waxer! You're gonna like it here at Amherst, boy. You're gonna like it a lot if you like dying. One of the victims, a Kenneth Weckerly, is a student at Amherst. Weckerly owes Thompson a lot of money. That's it. Doesn't recognize your hot shot 68. Don't ask me what I thought assumed the position, man. <laughs> I don't know. We're in the field. You know, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, you would. You know, I heard it was pretty hot. Says me. That's I should have known. I didn't recognize you without the bandage on your partner's nose. Give me Come on, man. It's a person. I'm not your man. <sighs> Help her out, Mr. Bauer. Okay, it's in the student lot of Blue 68 Mustangs. <laughs> With the prepositional problem at the end of the sentence, genius. 
I won't tell you her name. Well, okay, okay, so she was. And anyway, she thought like that she had herpes, but it was just a cold sore. But a cold sore, that's like herpes, right? Absolutely. Same. Lucky girl. You're a great kisser. Yeah, well, I didn't want you to go through life without at least one, you know? Hey, pal, that's my girlfriend. Lucky guy, she's a great kisser. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got hung up with Rona Barrett. After this, she figures I'm gonna be bigger than Paul Newman. <laughs> In that case, maybe I should give you the lead. No, kidding. Kenny. What are you, a hypnotist? I like you and all, but it'd be unfair if I didn't tell you. I think I'm a carrier. Really? Yeah. Wounded in action during the sexual revolution. But I'll give you a call when it goes into remission. Yeah. Guy's a real buddy. Hey, buddy, I'll call you later. Please do. He's a killer. Is he? I'm going in there. Bud Light, okay? How about some ID, Jack? This is all the ID I need, unless you want me to report this dump to the Alcohol Beverage Commission, see about pulling your license. Uh, Bud Light? Right. You're under arrest. You're not man enough, boy. Ooh, and they say white boys ain't fast. Funny. Hey, I didn't finish reading his rights. Someone's got to finish and we blow it on a Miranda. Hanson, I swear you never quit being a cop, do you? Never. I like that in a man. You sure you're all right? Yeah. Listen, okay, go on home, get some Z's. Hey, Jake, you know I'm starting to like that lady. What's her deal? Hey, don't sweat it, man. You'd never make the weight. Don't bet on it. Hey, Kenny. Say hi to your sister for me. I mean, do you think they care that I have a perfect driving record? Huh? <laughs> no! I mean, do you think that they care that I'm a law enforcement officer, huh? Huh? No. They just keep raising the rates. Downright moral outrage, I'd call it. So now is your chance to do something about it, amigo. Final project. That's 50% of your grid. Apatona. Yeah, but I got more direct source. Free? Done. But you know something? You guys are gonna have to get with it. What, the rebuilding right here in the middle of class? That's pretty gutsy, huh? You ready? No. G. 86-795-337256, you got it? Uh, give it to me again, I'm not Kreskin, man. <clears throat> G, did you get that? G, 86. Hey. G, G. No, it's okay. He whipped your tail. <laughs> what? Why not just let her run? Why do you think? Good? Yeah, man, better than before, these guys are good. Oh, my God, man. You see, sometimes the parts are worth more than the whole thing with these expensive imports. Dad, I'll never get insurance again. Never. You're already a high risk. You're dead. I'll kill you all the You are busted. <laughs> We're cops. You're under arrest. They're running? They're running. Well, I don't know. Uh... At least let me offer to fix your next flat. Then who knows? Lunch, a house in the suburbs, possibly a kid when we're ready. I'm not planning on having one anytime soon. A kid or a flat? Well, no Jack. Are you taking applications? I'll take them. 70 bucks right now. 70 bucks. Hey, hey, negotiate. You still want them for 70? Well, it's 60 now. No, no thanks. My girlfriend thinks I'm a great gift item. Uh, Zeno's tonight, seven, right? What's the matter? Doesn't a hot shot like you have any friends? Hi. Yes, ma'am, and I'm just a kid in your class with a flat tire. I'll see you later, Miss Chadley. Who's your friend? Forget it. 
chick's a poster child for lewds. Think so, huh? Split all that lunch money between us. And you really shouldn't be buying me a drink. I didn't. I bought it for me. Besides, it's a Coke. What did you do? Spill the first one? It's raining. It's raining. What meeting? I was attracted to you, but it wasn't really you I was attracted to. Who was it? Who knows, but... Okay, fine. Yeah, but... The next time I get a flat tire, don't stop. And if you do, don't be so damn cute. You're gonna grow up to be a biology teacher. I am grown up. A biology teacher? There's just one more thing I should ask you, strictly student teacher. This is why I found room for dressing on my book report. <laughs> Probably. Thank okay. you. Well, it's flu season. You can't be too careful. All right. You know, there's something about you that doesn't fit. Yeah, well, maybe you don't have all the pieces yet. Oh, really? Really. It's a good day for the prom. Hey, never work that deep without a snorkel. You can damage the brain. What does she look like anyway? Oh, she's, uh... You know, I wasn't with Stone last night. I was, uh, out. Where's out? Out, out. I was with my, uh, English teacher. Oh, the teacher. Well, I hope you had a swell time. I bet you did. If you open that locker without a warrant, it's a legal search and seizure. Not without probable cause. What happened here last night is cause enough. Hi. And all the roses? See, now those I wish I did give to you, you know? <sighs> what do you do? Go from high school to high school picking up your English teachers? Hey. I was the one with the flat tire. You were the one without the jack. 50-50, huh? Well, 60-40. I'm irresistible. And off duty, how about you? Boys didn't kiss like this when uh, I was in high school. It's a good thing you never would have graduated. Now, what about the other stuff? Stolen? I bought it. Why? You got it. I see it. Yeah. Buy you a drink? Why don't we just stay in? Seventh class starts Tuesday in the first period. He can slip off into moral decay. Just hang back and follow my lead. These are my people. Tom Hansen, born to prep. Well, 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 if it isn't the boys from Westminster. A little birdie in jail told us that you two were police officers. And since we're taxpayers... Could you get me a vodka martini up with a twist, please? <laughs> we should have anticipated that. What is this? A gram of Coke? Now, see, I'm not gonna bust you for that. Because we got something big. A couple of middle-class punks with badges and permission to kick your tail. You've seen too many movies. You're bluffing. <sighs> You're right, it's a bluff. What was that number again? Holly, it's right there. Oh. Tonight is your night. Is that right? Hey, trust me on this, Reggie. We're talking my talk here. Did you speak? That's my bowling, mate. Bowling? Bowling. Did he say bowling? Yes, bowling. I'm in a league. A bowling league? A bowling league? Yes. I'm trying to save your life here, but you're gonna have to give me a little help. I once knew a kid whose father was a bowler. He ran away from home. He was three. His mother helped him. 
Listen, Van Helsing. These are Catholic schoolgirls we're talking about. Their idea of a good time is bingo. Bat and bowling. Well, it looks like we got a fire bug. Oh, another slam marino for the Kingpin! Yeah! yeah. See that? Almost got on that chair. Bowler! Another beer? No thanks, I'll drink kiss. You're not having fun? Fun? Try it, come on! Uh, oh, come on! Uh, Doug Pinhall! Revolutionizing the game! And I was in the seventh frame. Thank you very much! What do you want me to do? Kill myself? Yes! Really? We lost the match, Doug! It was his whole life. What do we get? Breakfast. Get lost. <laughs> what? I hate you. It's contact sport. Besides, I always wanted to be a Marty. Yeah, you have to shoot yourself in the foot. Almost had to shoot Marty. <sighs> Like we got a Japanese Elvis Presley, a pimp, and the butler. With the budget we got, you're lucky we could afford to rent the pants. Maybe you should go without the pants. Tell them you're a poor butler. If you don't get that dress on soon, girl. I got the fire department on standby. Lucky Miss Kenny gets a butler. Give you back a dream, Having a good time? You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You look great. Oh, yeah. You... So do you. Yeah, you think so? Mm hmm Nice. Would you like to dance? Oh, no, I, uh, <clears throat> just, uh, I kind of like standing here. Got a lot of fun out there, aren't they? Yeah. It's nice. Should I go bowling? What? Bowling, you ever go bowling? Oh, bowling, yeah. I went uh, last week, I think I bowled like a 243, but it's my first time, so I don't know if that's good or not. Really? Yeah. yeah. Seriously? Another Slammerino! I've never seen you in the uniform before. You look, uh, different. <laughs> How you doing? Better. It's hard, but I'm doing better. Yeah. It's just I usually work with Penhall on an assignment like this. Ah. You guys dating? <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. You know, when my father was transferred in mid-semester, I was truly worried about uh, landing in a school without the proper academic uh, reputation. Not to mention, a school with a computer facility equipped with mainframe access. Well, thank you, sir. You know, uh, I am a bit concerned. I hear tell of a disciplinary problem in a portion of the student body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reggie Brooks. Nice to meet you. Is it? Well, I, I heard it was a tough school, but this is ridiculous. What are you going to do? Ain't you going to stick around long enough to find out? Am I? <laughs> no! Police officer, freeze! No! Don't do it, man! You didn't think this thing through. You got no plan. Reggie, if you're so smart, how come you're so dumb? You know what? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Pros in the classroom? An idea whose time has come. We're full-fledged police officers, Mr. Taylor. Mr. Steele, Mr. Bond's case. Mr. Steele and Mr. Bond. <laughs> in their case, they paid cash in advance. Thanks. I love you. Look at this. 
Wait, room service, cable movies, valet service? 12 calls the dialer sweat. Dialer what? Dialer sweat, 555-SWET. You pay two bucks to talk for three minutes to an extremely friendly lady. Well, Fuller told me all about it. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you how we're doing. We're chasing two kids that we thought were dead or in trouble. Turns out they're living in uh, penthouse suites, riding limos, buying motorcycles. They even tried to buy a BMW. I'm not sure, but I think that's a run-on sentence. Ah, but they're still in danger because I'm going to break their neck. Easy, boy, easy. Come on. Do society a favor, Doug. Stay single. Oh. I'm sorry. You hear that? That's your future daughter talking, pal. My kids would never get caught shoplifting. Say, where are those crazy kids, Greggy? Out in the yard. What, Mr. I served 18 months for manslaughter? worried about a little fight? I didn't ask him to put that in my jacket. Well, it got put there so nobody would think he was a wimp, which is what you are this morning. By about midterms, we can bust the president of Columbia. What, the college or the country? Huh? You take the little one, okay? The little one? Yeah. No one thought you were going to show. We're the McQuaid brothers. We had to show. Well, I, for one, am very impressed. I mean, these guys are not small time. Think about it. Take your time, no. Take an hour. Are you crazy? I had to go. And finally, the McQuaid brothers will be history! <laughs> Captain Fuller, line two. Yeah, guys, my office. Nope. You got something for us? So what? What's the matter? Ain't you guys ever heard of bail? Watch, they give us detention for being late. But, Mr. Harris, we couldn't come to class. We was in jail. Yeah. Yeah, but you forget. We're, We're the McQuaid brothers. Hat. You're finding it out, aren't you? What? That being a lowlife works, especially with them Girl Scout types you go for. Uh, you want something? No, no. You know. Captain Nelson requested it. Are you gonna call him? Don't bother. If you don't have the release, it ain't because he didn't send it, it's because you lost it. But hey, that's all right. Make the call. Hey, paper gets lost around here all the time. Come on. Come on. Okay, so I did the wrong thing by not turning her in, but I didn't know what to do. I'm new at this. You've been doing this for 20 years, but I'm new. Is everything in this report? Yes, sir. No. Captain Clarence Nelson, head of administrative. Mm. Heck, she's gonna hate me when I'm through, but I'll get it done. I'm not some beat cop who just shows up. I believe you. Come on. He's the victim here. Look, I said it wouldn't be pretty, but it will get her out of there. I shot him. I'm sorry, I had no choice. No, I don't think you're gonna go to jail. Look, my real name is Tom Hansen. I can't tell you how sorry I am. You didn't make anybody do anything. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I can go. No, stay. Even though you wouldn't let me hire you, even then you kept coming back. I was worried about you, Diane. Get your badge back. Hey, are you a cop? Yeah. Ha! Sorry I didn't knock. Yeah, shop's open, man. These guys never learn. We heard you guys were back. These guys never learn. I feel silly doing this. Don't. It's a walk along the beach. I mean with you. I want to spend some time with you, Diane. Nobody made me. Okay. Are you allowed to do this? No. <laughs> now I really feel silly. Forget it. It's not like it can't be dealt with. You know, you never really fooled me, Tom Hansen. 
Tommy McQuaid, tough guy. <laughs> you were under there. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> you don't bowl, do you? <laughs> Food poisoning. I kept telling him, don't eat at Rocket Dog. <laughs> Penhall dropped calculus at the last school. It almost blew the case. Oh, God. No wonder this kid turned to crime. First prize is a set of encyclopedia. <laughs> wow. I don't think I can make that one, Mr. Husk. It's to suspects. Two to one, he gets it wrong. The Miranda decision, Miranda versus Arizona. Correct for another 10 points. How do you know so much about the law? I study. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Now, how am I going to make him believe that I need 50 grand? Hey, 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 that's my car! That's your government at work, Aokich. You want to get me a cab, pretty boy? Sit down. For some other reason. You waiting for a goodbye kiss? Oh, I can tell this is going to be a great assignment. Company? Who said this guy ain't friendly? Snitch at the bar, hotel clerk, me. Are you nuts? There's a cock! I know that! Hey, look at this guy. He goes out, becomes a model, gets himself a fashion consultant. like that, I appreciate it. You know, we used to call this place the attack dog because 20 minutes later... Let me ask you another question. Why do you stick around? That'd be a very long conversation. This is it. We gotta bust him before they slice and dice this cop. You think that's tough, man? Hey, you know he's You're a tough man, but you're a tough guy! Stupid! Okay, okay, easy. Man, we gotta call Fuller. Looks like he's gonna be They've been in it too long. So why don't you quit? Student council, for God's sake? Why not? Why not? Hey, you don't have to go. That's garbage! You're out of your freaking mind! Nobody wants to die over this. if he comes back. He's not gonna come back. <laughs> 